Hey everyone, have you ever wondered why the weather changes or how we can predict it? In today's video, we're going to explore clouds and learn about different types of weather. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we're going to explore clouds and learn about different types of weather. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to ask questions and use observation of cloud types and date of weather conditions to predict weather events. Welcome to our exploration of cloud types, weather conditions, and how understanding these elements helps predict weather events. Let's start by understanding different types of clouds. Clouds are categorized into several types based on their appearance and altitude. Let's explore the main types. Number one, cumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds are fluffy, white clouds with flat bases. They often indicate fair weather, but can develop into larger storm clouds. Number two, stratus clouds. Stratus clouds are low altitude clouds that form in layers. They often bring overcast, gray skies, and light precipitation or rain. Number three, cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are high altitude clouds and wispy or light in appearance. They typically indicate fair weather, but their presence can proceed or come before a change in weather patterns. Quick check for understanding. How can the different types of clouds help us predict the weather? Pause the video and take 30 seconds to think, pair, and share out your responses to the teacher. You got this. Now let's move on to weather conditions. Understanding cloud types helps us predict weather conditions. Let's take a look. Number one, clear skies. Clear skies have few or no clouds present and is typically associated with stable weather. Number two, rain or thunderstorms. Cumulus clouds can turn into cumulonimbus clouds, which indicates potential thunderstorms. Heavy precipitation can follow after these types of clouds. Number three, fog. Stratus clouds near the ground create foggy conditions and reduces visibility or our ability to see in the outside environment greatly. Quick checks for understanding. What can cumulonimbus clouds in the sky tell us about the weather? What can stratus clouds near the ground tell us about the weather? Pause the video and take two minutes to write your smart responses. You got this. Let's move on to predicting weather conditions. Meteorologists or people that study and predict the weather can use cloud types and weather conditions to predict events. Number one, they can use weather technology tools such as thermometers, barometers, anemometers, rain gauges, satellite images, radars, and more for real-time observations. Number two, they can use indicators such as changing cloud formations which indicate approaching changes in weather they can also use changes in temperature and humidity to determine weather changes. Number three, meteorologists can use forecasting to predict short-term weather, which is weather in the next few days, and long-term trends, which is seasonal forecast. And even more importantly, they can provide early warnings for severe weather events. In summary, we learned that clouds are like nature's weather clues. By watching them and using weather tools, indicators, and forecasting, we can predict whether it will be sunny, rainy or stormy. Whether observing cumulus, stratus, or cirrus clouds, each tells a story about the weather conditions around us which helps us anticipate and predict weather events, plan activities, and more importantly, stay safe. Next time you're outside, look up at the clouds and see if you can guess what the weather will be. And that's our video for today. Now it's time to see how proficient you are with using observations of cloud types and data of weather conditions to predict weather events by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency. Record your results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you, you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day. Gambit, see your bet, and raise it! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.